Hey everybody, welcome to another of my 40k videos, this time, Imperial Knight Codex Fluff, the genesis of the knight suit. Let's get right into it, shall we? The first knight suit was one of countless technological wonders created on Mars during the Age of Technology. <laughs> the pioneering noble houses of Tyrannus became the original imperial knights and piloted the very first prototypes fresh from the forges of Mars's industrial heart. Uniquely amongst the nobles of the other knightly houses, however, the subtle mind-altering technology was noticeably absent from the Thrones of Mechanicum, Throne Me Thrones Mechanicum of Tyrannus Knights. Sorry. This was in part due to the fact that the Martian nobles who became the first knights were already fiercely lo loyal to their Mechanicum overseers, and House Tyrannus was an integral part of Mars's infrastructure. The Imperial Knight STCs were upgraded to include the subliminal stimuli in preparation for mankind's exodus across the stars, the better to prepare the nobles who would be responsible for the protection of others. Rising from the ashes, the civil war that erupted on Mars during the Horus Heresy saw House Tyrannus suffer grievous losses during the fighting. As the intercene conflict drew to a close, only two knights remained. Raf Maven, one of the survivors, dedicated himself to overseeing the gradual rebuilding of his shattered house. His incredible commitment and the skill of Mars's tech adepts saw House Tyrannus survive its darkest hour. And now the prologue. Many of the knight suits piloted by nobles of House Tyrannus were archaic compared to those of the younger houses. For they included the very earliest patterns, the marks of knight armor amongst their number. I'm sorry. They included the very earliest patterns and marks of knight armor amongst their number. The destruction of so many knights during the Horus Heresy saw this balance redressed, however, and Maven's house was ultimately to be reborn with the very finest knight suits at its disposal, as befitted the first of the knightly houses. The three knights depicted below all date back to the time of Tyrannus' renewal, each proudly emblazoned with the amended heraldry of their house. Never again has the strength of House Tyrannus been so sorely tested, for it returned upon the precipice of annihilation greater than ever before. And then it has a picture of three red and white knights, which look almost exactly the same to me. Next, I will be doing a series of videos on each of the knightly houses. Keep watching! Thank you. Mm.